stuff. Thank you very much indeed, Chris. Now, how do you get your musical pleasure? Is it vinyl? Is it CDs that you're buying over the counter? Uh, maybe you're downloading from the internet. That seems to be the way that a lot of people are getting their music these days. And you have to ask the question, where's it all going to end, don't you? Radio. Now here's a story of two young entrepreneurs from the county who are hoping to be a big hit in the music world. They're not musicians. They've created, though, their own website to publish and promote new music to the digital market. Not only that, but the money made from it will help fund charities and good causes around the world. Our reporter Carol Weston went along to meet Jason Grant and Andrew Rogers. Jason began by explaining how it all works. So what we do, we um, search out and find new talent, process the music into the format necessary to publish and then we carry out that task and then after the music's sold we distribute out the royalties to the artists so 75% of the royalties go goes back to the artist 25% is used to finance uh, good causes around the world right so not only can you publish um, albums but we exclusively publish music videos as well so we're the only we're the only uh, aggregator that does that in in the world Right. What, what does that mean? That means you convert to the likes of the likes of iTunes as well. When you say you're the only one. Well, say if you wanted to publish um, a short film or you wanted to publish a music video, we have the um, services of technology to get your your uh, videos published for download to the iPods and iPads and all these other uh, multimedia devices that are out there. So. So is that largely what people are able to do now? They can actually become their own publishers of their own work. Yes, um, you know, in the times past, it, it was um, the artist would have to go to a record label to get their music out to the masses. But what's happened, we have returned music to its original roots where the artist has a direct link to the fans. OK, I mean, it's a great idea, Andrew. I'm going to come to you because um, both of you started this up. You're um, both local lads. You know, how did it come about? Jason and I met at the Hope Project at the beginning of the year in Wallenborough. Um, we originally hooked up doing remixes just for ourselves and other people that wanted doing. And uh, we, I got talking to him. He was saying about, oh, I want to get this website up and going. I've got a, a baby website, but I want to do this and branch out and go onwards and upwards. I need, I need someone to kind of help me bounce ideas off and uh, here we are today. How's it taken off? Because it's only been going live for a, for a few weeks, hasn't it? Well, so far, it's been uh, leaps and bounds, really. It's uh, got about, what, 500 artists, would you say? Yes, um, around 500 artists sign up, and we've had um, around 40 albums published via, via our service. And are they coming from all over the world, or where are they coming from? Well, that's the beauty of uh, the internet. Wherever there's an internet connection, that's your reach. So we're getting artists from um, Africa, um, the Americas, um, even someone from uh, Mozambique uh, um, uploaded an album recently. So it's, it's, it's quite, it's quite um, astounding, the, uh, you know, an idea in a small town uh, like Wellingborough, Northampton, can go global overnight. How big do you think it'll go? Well, we're hoping uh, definitely worldwide. I mean, let's uh, go all the way to the top, see where it can take us. Well, um, a name which I've set would be to clock up around a million cells in this in the next uh, 18 months or so. So those are the kind of figures um, that we're going for. Uh, my name's Trevor Lynn, and I'm Head of Corporate Social Responsibility here at Think3. We're a consortium of social enterprises, and we advise youngsters, individuals, and existing businesses to convert their business models to create more better social impact in the world. We think it's probably the most exciting innovation in the music industry, you know, and we do not underestimate what these guys have already achieved. You know, we're talking about a sum of £40,000 for great causes all over the world being generated um, already. But what these guys are doing is they're actually going on a road show. They've got an artsy glory. It's all filled up with computers and laptops, and it's going to go around all over the country to deprive war. And it's going to give kids who haven't got computers or iPods and give them access to sound engineering and see this product up and running, download music and have fun. And, you know, and we may find the next you know, Michael Jackson out there, who knows? 
Sugar Bates on the Friday Tea Time. And if uh, you were interested in uh, the story that we had with our reporter Carol Weston from uh, Wellingborough a few minutes ago about YouTube, uh, the, the couple Jason Grant and Andrew Rogers who've got together uh, to uh, put that internet download uh, system into operation and are now taking it, well, on a grand tour, in actual fact, in a big articulated lorry with all the recording dubbins and, and all the computers and stuff that you need to do that. Want to find out more? I bet you do, don't you? Info at utuned.com is uh, what you need to log on to. Utuned is spelled U-T-U-N-E-D. It's info at utuned.com. You can find out what Jason and Andrew are up to, uh, how you can download, how maybe if you're in a a new band, you can get some coverage from them. You can also get it, of course, at 6 o'clock every Friday evening with Tash and Ali on the weekend. They'll be here after the news coming up with Sarah at uh, 6 o'clock. Meanwhile, we're off um, up up to Corby to a massive success story, a worldwide interest being shown in um, a skateboard park up there. Um, We'll be visiting Adrenaline Alley very soon. Texting BBC Radio Northampton is now so much easier. Simply text the word NORTH to 81333, then add your comment, and your message will be sent direct to the BBC Radio Northampton studios. Texting BBC Radio Northampton costs nothing more than a standard text from your mobile phone. So why not get in touch now? Text the word north to 81333. It's a brand new number, so save it in your phone. Getting interactive with BBC Radio Northampton has never been easier. Simply text the word north to 81333 and add your message. 